Now in today's video we're going to look at why I love Hollow Knight. Now I'm always about really cool art style games that have really good platforming and keep the challenge going with different movesets, varied enemies to face and where you have a bit of a challenge to have to stay alive as well and there's some fantastic really challenging bosses which are going to give that to you in this game. You have to learn their patterns, stay alive, try to deliver as much damage as possible at the right moments and there's a lot of replayability there, a little bit like something that I think you would see in games like Bloodborne. Now I think for me one of the things I love about this game is the whole lost sense of adventure. You have to build up the map to actually be able to track where you are and where you have and haven't been. So you really just feel lost in a world that looks absolutely stunning. The, the lighting, the graphics, everything about the game just kind of takes your breath away when you start. You get really good abilities like the ability to shoot projectiles, to wall climb, to dash, to fly. And that adds a whole sense of new gameplay as well with these different new move sets that you have to build up. You get charms that you can equip which can help your playstyle to have to dodge and move and attack and defend. And you really do have to kind of build up your own way of playing this game just to actually stay alive and be able to explore the map without dying and having to go back to a checkpoint. This game gave me a real sense of peace with the fantastic score and the music set and the way that the artists have designed this game with the graphics and the lighting. You've got these travel abilities you unlock using the stags or there's trams as well. You don't have any of that when you start. You have to unlock it all bit by bit which just really adds to the adventure. The exploration and platforming are amongst some of the best I've ever seen. Some of the enemy variation and the mini bosses that you'll face will just challenge you time and time again and keep you coming back to the game to want to explore what else there is or you're going to fall and die trying. Now your combat improves as you manage to gain that experience, learn the movesets of the enemies and as you power up learn new strikes. Uh, new abilities to sort of be able to shadow cloak dash through the enemies. Like with these bigger soldiers, you really just, it's a struggle to take them on without it. But you do manage to evolve depending how you're able to play the game and what you've got available to you as well. Now the platforming is just, it, it is just incredible. With, with the move sets and the way that you move around, I mean you're really restricted at the beginning. But when you get the monarch wings, when you get the different dashing abilities, it really just changes the way you can play and go back Metroidvania style and explore some of the other areas that you didn't think you could access previously and I just think they have absolutely nailed it in this game so hats off to them. Now the bosses in this game will test you and test you. You've got a lot of learning to do and you have to get good or you will not survive. Sometimes you do need the better the better movesets to be able to do so, but the game just keeps throwing you quirky, awesome, exciting, challenging bosses at you. Just when you think you've seen it all, they'll come up with something else which either gives you a laugh or just grates you over and over. Like I thought I was going to quit this game so many times, but you have to get good and you just keep coming back for more, finding new secrets. Finally, are you able to take on some of the final challenges in the game? I think you can, but you have to work at it. It is a game like Bloodborne that really, you get that reward, the better you get at the game. You think you're not gonna be able to do it, and then finally you get that moment of ecstasy when you finally take down something you think you couldn't do. Some of the bosses are very well hidden in this game, so I do recommend once you've finished the game, you will then need to do some research on how to experience some of the great stuff that you've missed. I spent 40 hours until I saw the end screen for the first time, which was a much bigger in-depth game. It was a much larger experience than I was ever anticipating, but the game just kept bringing me back to explore, find some of these secrets, and find some of the game's hidden treasures that I thought I first missed. Now, Silk Song is on the horizon. I cannot wait to see what Team Cherry have got lined up for us next. Now, this Hornet character is one of my favorite things from Hollow Knight. 
felt very underutilized. I wanted to see more of her. And then they have slammed on us the fact that Silk Song is coming. The game looks even better than ever with the abilities, the movement, the combat, some of the new enemies that we're going to see. It is just keeping the dream alive. And I'm so excited the fact that the world of Hollow Knight is continuing because I've had the game for a long time. It's been out a couple of years now. I'm always slow to the party, but I'm, I'm, I've finished it just in time to keep the dream there. And the fact that Silk Song's coming soon is going to be fantastic. I still haven't freed all of these lost grubs. Even though they're marks on the map, it's a challenge. It gives me something to go back and do later on. And after all, the Papa Grub is always so pleased to see me when I've rescued and released some of his children that have found their way home. And now I can just reap the rewards, pick up all that good geo. Although I have to say, I don't think there's anything left in the game now for me to buy. But there's probably a lot of other secrets and things, but who knows, I might need some more money. But now I've got plenty of it. If you're new to the channel guys, please hit that subscribe button, please hit that thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in the next Gastops Games video. Yes mate.